So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. Emotion at fever pitch and the players are ready. It is terrific to be here in the foothills of the Alps at this most notable of modern stadia, the home of Juventus. The strains of the national anthem of Colombia. some performance and now here comes the response Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Well, Peter, both of these teams will take to the pitch with a three-point focus. Ambition is fresh and strong, and each will want to go deep into the competition, so neither will be looking to come out of this with a, a flawed game plan. This has to be assured and close to their best. So we're up and running. And the weighted pass, looking for space out wide. Arias gets it away. Just lacked a decent finish. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the shot! And a header! Good delivery, no joy. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Arias hoists it forward. He is there and he can get that clear. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Repelled by the keeper. Nil-nil still, and little doubt about which manager will be the happier right now.
Goes for the cross. And the keeper's in command. And it's played forward. Oh, it's a searing run. He is a man on a mission. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. It's a great ball. Tries to cross. Luis Muriel. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. And the whistle goes for half time. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Tries lifting it over. He's got options out wide. Muriel. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Wood. Looks to clip it forward. Tries to get it clear. Wood. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. New Zealand merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Quadrado has been caught there, it's a foul. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And helps available out wide. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Could move up a gear here. And that's it. Not ideal, but not the worst start at all. It's an opening day draw. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is OK. And steering clear of an opening loss keeps the mood in the dressing room upbeat and confident that better results await.